First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Rakakadash, double understood to the apostles and to the others, a great millstone. Much love and peace and love to all the brothers and sisters work and truth and sincerity. Shalom. It's your brother, Patak, coming at you again through the Spirit and Paul Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, And I just wanted to focus on this word bearing. You know, because let me get a real quick precept. This is Second Edges chapter five verse one. It says, "Nevertheless, as coming, as coming the tokens, behold, the days shall come, that day which dwell upon earth shall be taken in great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith." So, I want to focus on the the part which says the land going to be barren of faith, but like the scripture says, you know, it clearly says there's a lot of people that's going to be taken by taken. It means killed in great number. And the way of truth shall be hidden. And the, and the truth is hid. It's hid in plain sight. You know, people couldn't understand the truth because it's not given to them to understand it. It says, and the land shall be barren of faith. Now, that word barren is like when a woman cannot produce. If she's barren, she can't produce any kids. And people just don't have faith, man. It says, incapable of producing its kind. So it's. People are incapable of producing <laughs> children of no children that have no faith, man. The, 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 this land is not capable of producing people that have faith, man. Outside of the elect, man, because a bunch of people in the world, man, they ain't, they don't have no faith. They don't have no trust. They're barren of faith. The land is barren of faith. You know, the only people in America that have faith is the elect. You know, because all of everything else doesn't matter. Just like a barren woman, a woman can that cannot conceive. So the land of America is gonna be is barren of faith, man. Jake ain't got no faith out here, man. I was talking to this one Jake, man. Um, at a uh, plantation, man. He was he was uh, acting like he was uh, he knew about the scriptures or whatever, and um, Jake said he had a whole beard, you know. And he shaved his whole beard and all of that just to get that job. And I was just like, nah, man, I wouldn't have did that. I wouldn't shave my beard just to work at no goddamn, you know, restaurant or whatever, man. You know, that's clearly not scriptural. You know, I was just thinking about my thinking to myself, man, in my head, man, Jake ain't got no faith, man. Jake ain't got no uh no type of uh integrity, man. Which integrity goes back to blamelessness, man. So Jake, Jake ain't got no blamelessness, man. You know, his sin is, is is before him, man. You know, he ain't trying to be blameless without spot before Yahweh by Shemel Shah. This is Hebrews eleven six. It says, and faith, and without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of him that diligently seek him. So if you don't, if you doing things like that, man, shaving your beard just to work at a restaurant. Or, you know, that's that's that that shows that you don't have no faith, man. You know, no faith because you don't believe that the Lord can give you another job, man. You know, you don't believe that He can give you a even way higher paying job than that, man. But you rather you rather um, downgrade, detest everything that you know according to what you don't supposed to do. And in order to get that job, I want to shave my damn beard, man. You know, but like the scripture says, the land is barren of faith, man. Jake ain't got no faith. You know, Jake didn't believe in it for face value, but he really ain't deep down, man. You don't really believe in the Lord, man. You know, if you believed in the Lord, you would stand strong. You'll be, you'll, you'll be zealous for the Lord, man. You know, you'll be zealous. So I'm going to read this again. Hebrews 11 and 6, it says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Well, he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. You must believe that he is, man. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So you got to believe that the Lord got to be your everything, man. He got to be your first and first priority. You know, the Lord got to be first, man. You got to put y'all by Chanel shot first before anything. Because you got to believe in him, man. You got to believe that he is. He's a rewarder of you. That If you diligently seek him, you know, and keep continuing to seek his face, he rewards you, man. But see, Jake don't see that. 
Jake, Jake want to do what he want to do. When it's that's not that's out of order, man. This is verse two. It says, "But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest, or that thou hast heard long ago." And iniquity has increased in the earth. Every day is wickedness going forth, man, and it's vexing. And the land that see, thou seest now to have root shall shall thou and see wasted utterly, suddenly, slacky. But if the Most High grant thee to live, thou shalt see after the third trumpet. That the sun shall certainly shine again in the night, and the moon twice in the day. And the blood shall drop out of wood, and the stones shall give her voice, and the people shall be troubled. And where is it at? Where is it at? Okay, I'm getting to it. It says, even, and even he shall rule whom they look not for that dwell upon the earth, and the fowls shall be taken, take their flight away together. And the Sodomist sea shall cast out fish and make a noise in the night, which may not make. May have not known, but they shall all hear the voice thereof. Uh, where is it at? Okay, verse 8. It says, There shall be a confusion also in many places, and the, and the fire shall be oft sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and monstrous men shall bring forth monsters. That's what I wanted to get. You know, I should have just jumped down to verse 8. But it says monstrous women shall bring forth monsters. And that's what's happening. These women are here bringing forth monsters. A bunch of, uh, this is a faithless generation. Man. You know, people don't have no faith in nowadays, man. Which brings to pass what the scripture says. A land bearing a faith. The scripture speaks something about an unfaithful servant or something like that. Here we go. It says, Proverbs 25 and 19, it says, Confidence in an unfaith unfaithful man is time in time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot out of joint. And a lot of people are going to put their confidence in an unfaithful man. Esau. They put their confidence in Esau. He's an unfaithful man. He's not He's not a fit ruler. That's like a broken tooth. You, what you going to do with a broken tooth, man? You can't chew nothing. What you going to do with a foot out of joint? You can't use it. Man. So you put you trust in, in somebody that is not a stable source, man. You know? So America is a land of bearing of faith. Ain't no faith in this land besides the land. And it's depressing to see, you know, how many Jakes out here just don't have no faith, man. Because when it boiled down to it, when the shit hit the fan, who you going to believe in? I'm going to get one more script. Oh, that's lucky. I'm going to get one more scripture. And I'm going to close this quick lesson out. I ain't want to make it too long. Just to the point, man. This is Psalms 33, I mean, 37 and 3. It says, Trust in Yahweh and do good, so shall they thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. I wanted another one. Isaiah, I believe. Here it is. Isaiah 26 and 4 says, Trust in ye in Yahweh forever, for in Yahweh is everlasting strength. In the Lord, Yahweh is everlasting strength. Jeremiah 17 and 7 blesses the man that trusted in Yahweh and whose hope Yahweh is. So with that, I'm going to... Oh, actually, let me read this. It's Jeremiah 17 and 7, 5. It says, Thou sh does said Yahweh, Cursed be the man that trusted in man and make his flesh his arm and whose heart departs from him. So don't be trusting in men, I, you know. Like, like the scripture says in Proverbs, it's a broken tooth and a foot out of joint. You know, trust in Yahweh Bashmel Shah, have faith in Yahweh Bashmel Shah, and stand on that, man. You know, if you really believe in the Lord, you know, don't do, don't talk about it, be about it, man. Because to then I'm going to look at you like you're full of shit, man. You know? So with that, I'm going to say Shalom. I'm going to give all praises on the Lord. Say, Kahalayim La Yahweh